Hello and welcome to part three of our health and wellbeing show. My name is Amy Forrest and today we're taking a look at the services throughout our region to keep your mind and body in optimal condition. So let's take a look at who we're off to today. We start off with Total Rehab Plus in Morrinsville. Then it's off to Hamilton to find out about Diabetes New Zealand. From there we discover the services of Progress to Health. We check out the services of Parent to Parent. And then head to Rotorua to find out about Foot Mechanics Podiatry. So a busy day travelling the whole region and I think it's about time we head off to our first business, Total Rehab Plus. If you have had a recent injury or illness, the team at Total Rehab Plus have one goal in common with you, and that is to help return to your optimal health in the shortest possible time frame. Kirsty Dodansky is inside to tell us more. Hi Kirsty. Now, first of all, can you tell us what you do here at Total Rehab Plus? Our main focus is to help people to engage in their usual activities, whether that be at home, work, in the community, um, and in play and at school. And um, we do that through our four branches of our business. That's Total Ergonomics, Total Mobility, Total Work and Total Provision Plus. And who are these services available to? Um, the service is available to um, whoever um, might be having difficulties whether from a temporary illness or um, injury right up to more permanent injuries and illnesses. Um, anyone that's having difficulty just coping with everyday life and maintaining that in independence at home or at work. Now can you give us a brief outline of the products that you stock here? Okay, under Total Ergonomics we have seating, desks, office furniture and our ergonomic accessories. Um, this is the area of the business where we also do workstation assessments um, and that can be at home, work or at school and we do the setups for the workstations as well. Uh, for Total Work, uh, this is where we do workplace assessments so a qualified occupational therapist will go into the workplace and do a task analysis um, and to help assist people back to work safely. Um, we also can assist with health and, health and safety documentation. Under Total Mobility, uh, this is where we have all the mobility scooters. Uh, we have a range of wheelchairs and walkers, knee scooters. Uh, we also do maintenance and repairs on the scooters and wheelchairs as well. Uh, we can provide education sessions around scooter safety um, and we have crutches and walking sticks as well. Under Total Provision, this is where we have a wide range of adaptive equipment um, to aid with daily living. We have lift out chairs, we have exercise and fitness aids, hire equipment so people can hire things for a short time. Um, we do home assessments so an occupational therapist goes into the home and assesses safety. Um, we do home safety education sessions, we have a range of orthotics and braces and we provide private treatments such as stress management, fatigue management and symptom management and coping strategies. And what benefits will people gain from these services? Um, well, we have qualified occupational therapists on staff um, who have a wide understanding and knowledge of the products and can think outside the square um, and we're solution focused. So we, we don't want to just give you a solution, we want to give you the right solution. Thanks Kirsty. Now how can people discover your store? We're at 1719 Street in Morrinsville. Our phone number is 889 6451 or you can have a look at our website or please come in and just have a chat with us and come and see what we have. Great, thank you very much. So for a successful rehabilitation and recovery experience, the team at Total Rehab Plus are here for you. After the break we head to Diabetes New Zealand and Progress to Health. Every day at least 50 Kiwis are diagnosed with diabetes and with 20,000 people diagnosed in the Waikato alone there is a huge need for a support network for those affected and that service is Diabetes New Zealand and here to tell us more is Jenny West from the Waikato branch. Hi Jenny, lovely to meet you. Now can you tell us what is happening or not happening in our bodies if we have diabetes? 
Okay, so for type 1, it's an autoimmune disease, which means that the pancreas no longer produces any insulin. For type 2 diabetes, which is the diabetes we hear a lot about in the news, either the pancreas isn't able to produce enough insulin, or the body's not able to use it as efficiently. And that means that our blood glucose levels rise within our body. Now what services do you provide here at Diabetes New Zealand? Well, we're there for um, the people who have been diagnosed with diabetes, no matter what type. Um, we're here for their families and um, their friends. So we provide um, support groups to give people information and um, support and education to help them self-manage their condition. We're also here to advocate for them with any services and we're um, willing and able to go to any organisation or workplace to provide education on diabetes and how to stay well and healthy. Now what are the main symptoms of diabetes to look out for? Well, if you um, find yourself feeling really thirsty, you're um, lacking in some energy, um, you might find that infections don't heal as well, um, you may suffer from um, thrush or um, UTIs, um, and the main one is the thirst and the lethargy. Then you need to seek some help, um, maybe go to your GP and ask for them to do some tests. And if diagnosed, in what way can this affect someone's life? It can be a real adjustment, um, Amy, and um, at first um, it can be quite hard to adapt and accept to a diagnosis, so we're here to support people through that. Um, it means that they will have to self-manage their condition, um, whether it be um, through lifestyle, and um, through exercise and diet with type 2 or type 1 you immediately have to go on to medication. So we're here to support you um, every step of the way. Sometimes with um, going to the GPs, they're pressured for time. You have your 15 minute slot or your half an hour slot with a diabetes nurse but you need something more. So people can come to us and we offer um, one-on-ones to people who are me members for um, one-on-ones with field officer to um, help them just have a chat, discuss how things are going and help them. If caught in the early stages, can the effects of diabetes be reversed or slowed down? Absolutely. Um, some of the complications that can occur if you don't self-manage your condition properly are that um, you can cause yourself some nerve damage, um, you can go blind, have um, damage to the kid kidneys, um, you know, things that don't sound very great, um, but um, by good self-management and seeking the support and help in the early stages, we can help you um, live an active and full life and minimise those complications. Okay, so it pays to get checked out as soon as you start noticing those symptoms. So how can people find out more information from Diabetes New Zealand? Well, they can find us at um, our office. That's Hamilton 07 838 0127. Or they can um, email us, diabeteswatextra.co.nz. at extra.co.nz. Great, thanks Jenny. So if you're worried about the symptoms of diabetes, either for yourself or for a loved one, get in contact with the team at Diabetes New Zealand. And remember, the sooner, the better. Progress to Health are a community-based organisation designed to enhance mental and physical health. Let's go and find out more from Ramona and Deborah. Hi Deborah and Ramona. Now, first of all, when and why was Progress to Health created? So in a time where government had moved to close institutions such as Tokonui and move people who experienced mental distress into the communities, often these people didn't quite know how to fit back into communities and also the communities did not know how to kind of receive this new community approach to mental health. So Progress to Health was founded here in Hamilton in 1995, almost 20 years ago, um, with a vision to help smooth that transition for people into the community. So Progress to Health's vision at the moment is all about connecting people in the communities and seeing no barriers there for them. And what services do you offer? At Progress to Health, we believe that every person has the right to live the life that they choose to. We help to support people to realise their dreams and aspirations, whatever this may mean for them. We help to provide them with the resources that are needed to achieve these dreams. So when you join our service, you'll be met by a community support facilitator and together you'll be able to create a personal plan 
which will help to strategize how you can achieve your goals. So your goals could include things from meeting new people to learning new strategies that will help you to manage your personal well-being. It could also help you to find your dream job or to just connect with other people who have similar experiences as you. We also work to educate the community about mental health and all of our services are free. Okay, and can you tell me a bit more about who these services are intended for? Progress and Health Services are generally for people aged 18 years and over. However, we do have a transition from school service for students aged 16 to 21. At Progress to Health, we don't see mental health diagnoses as a barrier. We aim to support real people live real lives. So this could include supporting people who have personal experience of mental illness, such as schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, or even disabilities, including Asperger's or ADHD. Okay, so what other benefits might people with physical or mental health issues gain from contacting your team, and how might they be referred? Individuals will gain a sense of belonging and also will find a safe space to learn about their personal well-being. People might also gain a better understanding about what's going on for somebody that they care about, whether that be Fano or a work friend. So we accept referrals from anyone and anywhere. You can refer yourself, you can refer your Fano members, or you could be referred to us from a, a clinician like your GP. Great, so how can they discover more information about Progress to Health? They can contact our 0800 number, look us up on our website, or check out our Facebook page. Or you could pop into one of our offices and meet with the staff. Progress to Health are rapidly becoming a leader in their field in supporting those with mental health or disabilities. So if this sounds like the support you or a loved one needs, get in touch with the team today. After the break, we head to Foot Mechanics, Podiatry and Parent to Parent. See you then. If you participate in sports or exercise through the heat of summer, you will understand the aches and pains that can result in your lower limbs. Foot Mechanics is a leading podiatry clinic throughout New Zealand using the most up-to-date technology to understand and treat any problems you may have. Hi Ernest, now first of all, what is the most common cause of foot and lower limb pain that you see here at Foot Mechanics Podiatry? So most foot and lower limb problems are caused by the way that we stand, walk or run. Because running significantly increases the forces on the leg and foot, um, small changes in the way that the foot functions um, can be the cause of pain and injury in runners. Now as a podiatrist, how do you locate the underlying cause of pain and injury? And we use the science of biomechanics to determine the underlying cause of pain and injury in runners. Um, we use um, technology that help us to see the invisible forces acting on the foot um, with the use of a clinical pressurised force mat. Um, we also use motion capture technology that help to break down the runner's gait into milliseconds so that we can see exactly what's going on. So what might the treatment involve? The treatment would often involve um, footwear. Um, orthotics and functional exercises. So we've developed a great reputation amongst the medical community as being specialists in biomechanics and orthotics prescription and this is where we feel like we can add the greatest value to our patients um, and to the medical referrals. Now often we think the pain will just go away with a bit of rest, so at what point should someone see a podiatrist? Um, reoccurring pain tends to be a red flag um, for underlying biomechanical issues. So for example, when someone um, continues to run past five kilometre and develops um, shin pain or knee pain, um, that would be an indication they need to see a podiatrist or perhaps um, if they um, enjoy running only in summertime, but after four or five weeks of running develop, um, develop pain in their knee or, or, or foot or leg, that would be an indication they need to see us too. And is this mainly a problem for professional athletes? Uh, not at all. At Foot Mechanics we tend to see people from all walks of life so, um, and all age groups as well. So we see um, kids who are out running, um, maybe playing soccer, doing a bit of running there. Um, people who are out running after work in the forest um, or out in the roads. 
Um, we see um, uh, professional athletes um, and we see up and coming athletes as well. Okay, so what might someone expect from an assessment? So when someone comes in for a biomechanical assessment, um, there's a detailed history taking. Um, so we sit and we have a conversation with the patient to understand the, the, the demands on their, their feet and legs and how much running they're actually doing, the activities that they're doing at work. Um, and then we move on to the assessment where we're going to take a look at joint range of motion, muscle strength, flexibility and alignment. Um, and then from there we tend to move on and, and use um, some more of the, the technology um, that we invest in at Foot Mechanics. Okay, so how can they get in contact with Foot Mechanics Podiatry? By checking out our website, they can jump on there. There's a um, heap of helpful information on there. Um, or they're more than welcome just to pop into the clinic and speak to a member of our staff. Um, or they can call the 0800 number as well. So if you're a runner, get yourself a step ahead of foot, shin and knee pain by consulting with your nearest foot mechanic podiatry clinic. Mark is a chef and he works and I'm a stay-at-home mum with Corey. Corey has autism and global developmental delay. He was diagnosed with autism at 20 months, which is quite young for a diagnosis of autism. We pretty much knew he had something up. Um, we had to wait, obviously, um, for a diagnosis, which was hard. I think that was the hardest part, was waiting. Once we found out, it was relief, wasn't it? We had something to work with. Um, you had answers for all the questions you had. At the beginning, I mean, you don't, you don't want it to be you. you yeah, you'd do anything to change things, especially for your child. But I guess... You kind of adapt things to fit in, I suppose. You adapt to it. I mean, because you know, you just hopefully be in the same things as you, like basketball and skateboarding and stuff. But but you still do it. Like you just do it your own different way, so that he can manage it as well. So you don't really lose that. You just do it differently, and you just cruise and get on with it, really. There's so many positives. So many positives. Once you get past the diagnosis, and I think a part of that will always hurt a little bit. But once you get over a diagnosis, it's you just get on with being a family and you celebrate milestones when he makes them. You celebrate moments as we get them. Corey didn't walk until he was two and so we had so long to prepare ourselves for that and it was actually here at the lake he took his first steps. Um, and so that was a magical moment for us, not just something we had expected, you know, as a baby. He's just a typical little boy um, who does very, very typical things. And there was a coffee group just starting in um, Hamilton for under fives, basically. The best thing about the coffee group and parent to parent is it's not autism based, it's special needs, it's disabilities, it's lots of different issues and um, it makes you open your heart. The parents of the other kids, they just love their kids so much so it's just all these kids that you can just love and all these parents that are going through the same experiences, going to the same centres, the same therapies, it's so even though our kids have different um, diagnosis, um, we pretty much still travel in the same circles. The services they have provided for us are a lot of support. They're only a phone call away. They occasionally get hold of tickets to certain things like circuses um, that um, they give out, which is really, really cool for Corey because it becomes more about the kids. Um, we get information packs or we get referred, for us it's a place called Altogether Autism who 
do up information packs for us, um, and that can be any topic. I think I've approached them um, for a certain signing, Makaton signing. Um, I've approached them over eating issues, and they make up information packs for us about that. So, um, valuable, very, very valuable service. I have wanted to be a support parent. I think that like there were people at the very beginning who spoke to us um, who had autistic kids and it's just someone to say you know it's it's not that bad and it will get better. E-learning for me will be a way to do it when Corey is otherwise occupied, is at kindy, um, just a way to do it sort of in my own time, but as fast as I want. You're allowed to think that it, it's the worst thing that could possibly happen. You're allowed to think that, but you've got to get past that. It does get better, and you meet people. There's just a whole world that you've never been a part of, but they welcome you, the special needs community welcome you um, with open arms, and your kid is just a kid not a label. It does get better. I definitely recommend parents approach parent to parent. Just approach them, see what they've got to offer. As everybody I've spoken to, they haven't let them down yet. So, parent to parent will become a part of your family. Well that brings us to the end of our show and thank you very much for tuning in to part three of our health and wellbeing show throughout the region. Tune in again next week as we head over to Rotorua for some school holiday fun. We'll see you then. Bye. This has been an Alpha Media production, a division of Television Media Group.